Mira and Tractor flat panel. The panel which you are seeing right now behind me is a 75 inch Mira flat panel. Okay, so we'll start the demonstration of panel. So the panel which you are seeing right now is a 75 inch Mira panel. By 75 inch, I mean the diagonal size of this panel is 75 inch. This panel has a 4K HD display. That means it has high resolution. That means it will give you more clarity and it is going to be more pleasing to your eyes. The structure of the panel, it has a 4mm toughened glass which has a hardness of 7H. The operating system, this panel is an Android version 9. Uh, the processor which is used here is quad core processor. The panel has 4 GB RAM and 32 GB ROM that is the internal storage of the panel is 32 GB. But it is expandable up to 1 TB. You can externally connect your pen drives, your laptop and even a hard disk. Basically this is an LED panel. So the uh, LED panel has two benefits. First is lower power consumption. And the second is long life. The original manufacturer gives us a lifetime of 50,000 hours for this particular panel. By 50,000 hours, if we calculate, even if in a day period of time you are going to use the panel for 8 long hours continuously, the panel will run for about 17 years. If you are going to use it for 12 years continuously, you will get a lifetime of 11 years approximately. This panel is an IPS panel, that means the viewing angle of this panel is 178 degrees. The benefit of this is even if a student is going to sit at width, uh, the board is not going to shine at all. He will be seeing the panel with as much as clarity as the student who is sitting in the front row. Uh, let me tell you about the sound system. This panel has inbuilt two speakers of 20 watts. So it is uh, good enough for a normal classroom. It also has audio outputs, so basically you can also connect external speakers if required. Uh, you have inbuilt internet connectivity. Uh, the internet connectivity can be uh, achieved through LAN ports, Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. The response time is 8 milliseconds and the panel has a warranty for 3 years. Okay, so now uh, you can see the home page. We will now see the features of the inbuilt whiteboard which is basically used for teaching purpose. So this is the whiteboard. Like you can see, in this whiteboard, in the settings, basically we have two writing modes. The first one is the classic mode and the second one is the standard mode. Currently you are looking at the standard mode. Okay, there is also an art block back that means you can select any color background you want. You can have a black board, you can have a white board, you can have a green board. So uh, currently let us just continue with the standard mode. So here you can see basically uh, this is the symbol of a pen which is going to be used for writing purpose. This is the thickness which can be used for writing. This is a stylus basically which will be providing with this board. So uh, here you can see this is the thinnest line which can be drawn and this, this is the thickest. Okay. Also when you click on this you will get, uh, you can choose any pen color you want to write on the board. For example this is white, green, purple and even pink. So you can choose uh, whatever color you want for the purpose. Next is the eraser. So here you have three options. The first option will give you, you can select any particular, whatever you want to delete, you just have to put the eraser on that and you can delete it. The second option is, you can select a particular area and that will be deleted or erased. And the third option is where there is a swipe option where if you swipe it, the entire board is going to be cleared. There is also an option of undo and redo. So if I undo it, whatever I have written will be coming back. If by mistake you have erased something. The next is shapes. So basically if you are uh, doing a math class, you can insert any shapes you want. You just have to drag it on the board. And you can also basically, you can zoom in or zoom out as per your convenience. Now here you can see basically that uh, this is a 75 inch board. So for the zooming purpose there is another
another option if you want to zoom any particular area here we have a zooming option you just have to select it select that particular area and with the two fingers basically you can zoom in out or zoom in if you want to zoom anything whatever you have written you can zoom it with your two fingers also okay so uh, like i said this is a 75 inch panel but you can scroll this particular whiteboard as much as you want vertically as well as horizontally too so this is the benefit of this board now in this board like here you can see this is a second slide you can add as much slides as you want if this is a second if you want to add one more you just have to click this plus button the next slide will open here you have multiple options like whatever you have taught to the children you can save it as a pdf there is a save and save as option you can name the file and you have to select pdf and you can save it in the panel later on you can also provide this pdf files to the students as notes you also uh, like here is a setting option like i told you there are two different modes basically you also have an insert option wherein you can insert any kind of document like here if you have any kind of you know uh, study material any study content or any kind of image if you want you can insert it and you can also basically start teaching through the image you can annotate on this image directly and you can teach you can also uh, make a copy of this so this is the way basically uh, you can use this whiteboard let us now see what are the different uh, different other application which can be used through this panel so let us now see some of the other features of this panel here you can see the file folder so when you are going to click on it here you will be able to uh, you know update all the files or images or videos whatever are stored in the panel that can be opened from this particular file folder next is ops so the panel also has an option of ops so if at all uh, you want to go for also go for a windows version this is an android panel but if you want to operate the panel in windows as well as android we have the option of ops there is an ops slot behind in which the ops will be inserted and you can use this panel both in windows as well as this is the windows version here when you click on home you will come out of the windows and then the android version will be open then is the whiteboard which we already have seen then is the application in this app folder you will be able to see all the applications which are already downloaded like we have zoom we have anydesk we have youtube you have gmail you can also download more applications if you want because there is also play store you have a timer calculator you can use this calculator to basically calculate anything you want if you are teaching students you also have timer in which you can set the timing if you are conducting any kind of tests so there are various applications also available for us let us see one more very good feature of this panel it is called as screen cast so you can basically cast your screen of your mobile phone onto the panel all you have to do is download an application called as trans screen on your mobile phone after you download the application you need to connect the panel and your phone through hotspot when you connect your phone this is the screen which you are going to be able to see on your mobile phone all you need to do is you have to select say select device and you have to uh, select this panel and say confirm after you connect there is an option of mirror when you select mirror you can see that my phone screen can be seen on the panel so all you what you can do is you can browse anything you through your phone and that will be displayed on the panel itself like for example so if say i am searching any word over here say earth so this is the way you can use the screen cast option on this panel so i hope you have liked the demonstration for the panel uh, and i have cleared everything regarding the panel if you do have any queries you can contact us on the below given email id or the number thank you very much for watching this video